Uh, I'm a graduate student at the Center for Limnology at the University of Wisconsin-Madison, and uh, I am studying migratory fish. Specifically, we are looking at fish that live in Lake Michigan and need to travel into uh, tributaries in order to spawn. Um, along the way, there are a series of barriers in the forms of road crossings and dams, and uh, what we're doing is surveying during the fish migration to see how many of these barriers they are able to pass by. And we do that in a systematic manner throughout the entire watershed to get an idea of uh, which barriers uh, are truly barriers to fish migration. Today we are sampling the Pike River and uh, in southeastern Wisconsin and specifically we are looking for suckers. Uh, there are um, two main kinds of suckers uh, in Wisconsin that we are looking for. Um, there are other species but specifically we're looking for white suckers and long-nosed suckers. There are other migratory fish that uh, we also come across during our sampling, such as steelhead. Today we've caught white suckers and steelhead, and um, we'll continue our sampling further up river. Right, so this is a white sucker that we have here, and uh, this is one of over 50 species of migratory fish in the Great Lakes Basin. And um, what we have here is a male. You can tell by uh, the tubercles on its anal fin and its caudal fin. And they develop these during spawning season. They live in Lake Michigan, and then they need to swim up tributaries in order to spawn. But uh, there are a series of uh, culverts and uh, dams that uh, block their uh, migration. And so what we're out studying is trying to figure out how far they can go. Because the migratory fish that are coming up from the lake have problems when they get to a place like this and they hit a wall, they, they're not gonna be able to get any farther upstream. And so any of the habitat that exists upstream isn't available to them. So that basically really limits how much habitat they have to spawn in. This is a really big issue in the Great Lakes. There's uh, over 100,000 of these uh, road crossings and dams that prevent fish from moving. And uh, we're hoping to ground truth today a little bit of the uh, what characteristics there are on the ground that can help us predict at a landscape level uh, where these barriers are for fish migration.